Hello and welcome, Mr. Martino here for your favorite teacher. In this lesson, we're going to continue with the general topic of transformations and look at how we rotate a shape and answer questions on the topic of rotations. As the name of the topic suggests, when we rotate a shape, we turn the shape in a different direction. The actual shape itself remains the same relative to all its sides, but it simply turns. The turn can happen in either of a clockwise manner or an anti-clockwise manner. And all turns will be either 90 degree turn or 180 degree turn. So if a particular point on the shape is pointing to the top of the page after a 90 degree clockwise turn, it should be pointing to the right on the page. If the turn was a 180 degree turn, then the point should now be facing to the bottom of the page. The illustration shows a 90 degree clockwise turn, then a 180 degree clockwise turn. In both of the examples shown, there's a point in the shape that remains on the same point both before and after the shape is turned. This point is known as the center of rotation. An easy way to approach rotations is to use tracing paper with a pencil. And the steps are as follows. First, place the tracing paper over the grid where the shape to be rotated is. Second, keeping the tracing paper in one place, draw the shape on the tracing paper. Third, Locate the point that is the center of rotation and place the pencil over this point. Fourth, we now turn the tracing paper, keeping the pencil firmly in place in the direction and amount of degrees that the question has asked for. Finally, five, the shape that has been drawn on the tracing paper will now look like it's located somewhere else on the grid below. Take a note of where it is exactly Remove the tracing paper and now draw the shape in that place on the grid. The new position of the shape on the grid should be exactly where the question has asked you to draw the new shape. This method comes with practice and is considered as the best way to rotate a given shape from one point on a grid to another part of the grid. If you want to practice this method, you can choose different points on the tracing paper for the center of rotation, and the new shape will be located in different places on the grid. You may be asked in an exam question to describe the transformation that you have been given. A transformation that is a rotation will see one shape looking like it has been turned either 90 degrees or possibly 180 degrees. The key in this scenario will be to determine what is the center of rotation. Again, the easiest method will involve tracing paper, then drawing the original shape on the tracing paper. When this has been done, a method of trial and error can then be used by choosing different points to turn the tracing paper to see if the shape then will line up with the second shape. When a point has finally been found that allows this to happen, we have our center of rotation. The actual answer to the question will then involve saying that it is a rotation, then identifying what direction and how many degrees the shape has been rotated. And finally, what is the center of rotation? I hope this has been helpful and you can always test your understanding by taking our quizzes or our worksheets from the website. This has been Mr. Martino for your favorite teacher and thanks for watching. <laughs>